Hi again, my name is Nicole Grenan. I'm a public archaeologist with the Florida Public Archaeology Network, and we're out here today in Fred Gannon Rocky Bayou State Park, which is near Niceville, Florida, to do some heritage scouts monitoring. Fred Gannon Rocky Bayou State Park is a federal lease to the Florida Department of Parks and Recreation. So this was originally federal property and it's a relatively small park, um, just under 350 acres, but there is so much to do here. There's a lot of water recreation, there's kayak rentals, there's camping, you name it, they've got it. And one thing that the park also has is a lot of historical and cultural resources. And we're out here today monitoring a couple of prehistoric midden sites. So these are sites with lots of shell that are essentially discard from periods of people eating shellfish from the waters around here. And so what we're doing here at this bluff is we're looking for remnants of those shell middens and photographing them so that we can submit them for our Heritage Monitoring Scouts report. we're monitoring right now is essentially a shell midden site and shell midden sites were created over time by people living in the area and essentially throwing away their trash from their food so they would collect shells um, fish and other resources from the marine environment and then they would toss it on shore and over time that builds up and essentially creates what we call a midden but it's a mound of, of waste and so we can see the the remnants of these middens on the landscape not only in the landform, um, but also if we look really carefully into the landform, we can see some of the shell that has been left over over time. And when we're out here for our Heritage Monitoring Scouts missions, that's what we're photographing. Um, this particular area was targeted for a, a monitoring scouts mission because it is right on the water and is subject to erosion over time. We're on a kind of protected area of Rocky Bayou, but there is a lot of boat traffic and human traffic going through this area. And so that's one of the reasons why we wanted to come and visit the site today. And shell middens are really excellent uh, for archaeologists because they can teach us so much about people who lived in the past. They can tell us what people were eating, what kinds of marine resources were available for them at the time that they were in this place. It can tell us about the seasonality of when they were visiting the sites. Based on the remains of the food that we find, were they visiting in the spring and the summer? Or was it maybe fall and winter? And it can also tell us about the number of people who may have been living in this area at the time. So there's a lot of really valuable information from sites like these to be found. 